Today, we're diving into the juicy story of an R&B girl group that stole our hearts with their smooth harmonies and catchy tunes. Ooh, if I could make time stand still. Now, we've all seen our fair share of group breakups over the years, but this one hits different. Why, you ask? Because we're not just talking about bandmates. We're talking about actual sisters. Hey, I'm Fallon. And I'm Felicia. I'm Thera. And I'm Neosha. And we're Cherish. The R&B sensation made up of four incredibly talented sisters, two of whom are twins. So what on earth could have caused such a close-knit family group to fall apart? Grab some popcorn, because this story is filled with twists, turns, and a whole lot of sibling drama. Do you all remember the iconic R&B girl group Cherish? Of course you do. The roots of Cherish go way back, and it was definitely a family affair. These ladies were born into a musical family, practically raised on rhythm and beats. Their father wasn't just any dad. He was a member of the band Professions of Sounds, which toured with legends like Earth, Wind & Fire and The Emotions. So yeah, these ladies were practically destined to make good music. It's not like we started at 25 years old. It was We were literally seven years old. So we've been in the music industry since we were seven years old and that's pretty much all we knew. So growing up in the industry was way easier because we didn't have another life. Music was our life. Now, dear old dad didn't waste any time. He had his baby girls performing almost as soon as they could braid their own hair. Talk about starting them young. The name Cherish itself has a cute backstory. One day, their dad asked, do you cherish what you do? The girls, with their hearts full of dreams and melodies, said yes. And just like that, Cherish was born. Aw, how sweet is that? We first heard Cherish in 2003 when they made an appearance on DeBrat's In Love With You. It was an underrated single from the equally underrated album, Limelight, Love, and Nightclubs. If you missed it, go back and give it a listen. It's pure gold. In Love With You might not have set the charts on fire, but it certainly sparked enough interest to pave the way for Cherish's first official single, Miss P. With songwriting by Candy, production by Jermaine Dupree, and a feature from the Brat, it seemed like a sure hit. The issue was Miss P was like stepping into a time machine straight to 2003. Catchy as heck, but it didn't quite have a unique flavor to stand out. Despite its infectious hook, it didn't leave a lasting impression, and their planned debut album, The Moment, was shelved, left to gather dust like an old VHS tape. But did Cherish let that bump in the road slow them down? No way. These sisters brushed themselves off and dove back into the studio with renewed determination. This time, they decided to take control and write most of their own songs. Three years later, they re-emerged with a banger that we all went crazy for. Do it to it. This was the mid-2000s, the era of crunk and B, so Do It To It was the perfect anthem for this time. The song is about, you know, being in the A and just having fun. It's called Do It To It, basically saying that the, the different dances in the uh, song, like the snap dance, like we were talking about, right. the pool palace, telling you, and now we don't want just Atlanta to know it. We want the whole the world, world to know it. it. The snap music, I think it's a, a, a young, fresh, you know, movement that's going on right now. Um, something fun. I think everybody wants to get away from, you know what I'm saying, you know, you can't mean mug all your life, you know what I'm saying? Your face gonna start hurting. They quickly climbed the R&B charts, becoming a top 10 hit, and dominated BET's 106 in part countdown for what felt like an eternity. Once Do It To It hit the airwaves, Cherish finally got the chance to release their debut album, Unappreciated, in 2006. The title track followed as the next single, climbing to number 14 on the R&B charts. Now let me tell you, Unappreciated is a true unappreciated gem. Seriously, this album, despite its title, truly deserved more love and recognition. Just a year later, the sisters were back in the studio, and by 2008, they dropped their sophomore album, The Truth. Leading with the single, Killa, featuring Young Jock. 
Strangely though, it didn't hit quite as hard as Do It To It, even though it felt like it was everywhere at the time. Sadly, the truth didn't fare much better. Despite the moderate success of Killa, Cherish's second album struggled to make an impact, leaving fans and critics wondering what went wrong. The follow-up single, Amnesia, remains, in my opinion, the best song they ever recorded. Some might argue, but hey, music is subjective, right? Despite being a standout track, Amnesia didn't get the traction it deserved, barely making a blip on the charts. But wait, here's where things took a juicy turn. Towards the end of 2008, whispers started swirling that Felicia and Fallon were cooking up something new, something separate from their sisters. Cue the inevitable speculation. Was there drama brewing behind the scenes? At first, they brushed off the breakup rumors as mere hearsay. After all, Pharaoh was happily settled into married life with kids, and Neo had recently tied the knot herself. With everyone at different stages of life with different priorities, tensions were brewing. In a not-so-surprising twist on December 19, 2016, Fallon and Felicia King announced their reunion under the name F Plus F during a live Facebook video. They spilled the tea that while Farrah and Neosha would feature on many tracks, the group would now operate as a dynamic duo. Suddenly, those breakup rumors didn't seem so far-fetched. Then, out of nowhere, we got hit with something infectious, literally. A track titled Infective Surface from F Plus F. Fast forward to the following year, and boom, Farah and Neosha officially bid adieu to Cherish as the new decade rolled in. And despite a few leaked tracks teasing at what could have been, the fate of Cherish suddenly hung in the balance. Fast forward to 2017, and the plot thickened. Felicia and Fallon, now officially rebranded as Cherish, dropped news about a lineup of brand new tracks. Hi guys, it's Fallon and Felicia. And we are so excited and thrilled to announce that we're about to release some new music for you guys. Yes, we are. And um, we're going to do something a little different, something that we haven't done before. Um, we're going to release four songs, and they're going to be back to back. And the first one you should be receiving on February 24th. Yes. The first single, One Time, dropped on February 24th, 2017, igniting anticipation among fans. Since then, there's been little word on a new album from Felicia and Fallon, leaving fans eagerly waiting for their next move. Jump to December 8th, 2023, and Fallon King drops a solo single titled Paper Planes. Paper complete with a lyric video that sparked a frenzy on Instagram. And in 2024, the sisters made waves with their contributions to the genius MLKX Songs from the Original Series soundtrack, featuring tracks like That Girl and Protector. Put on my shades, strolling on what they know I'm here to stay. you give protection. Not to be outdone, Felicia King celebrated Mother's Day 2024 with a bang, releasing a four-track EP titled Uncharted under her stage name, Felicia Fury. Searching for what it's all worth And nothing lasts forever Just a season more It's not a house in mint condition A little less than I did She also launched a podcast of the same name, delving into the world of motherhood. As for the real dirt on why the group split up, Fans were on the edge of their seats, anticipating the truth to finally spill out in their much-hyped reality show. However, despite the tantalizing trailer teasing juicy details, the show never hit our screens, leaving us hanging and craving for answers to this day. Now, should they make a comeback? Heck yes. Tracks like Self Destruction oh, we got to let go. prove they've still got that spark whether they come back as a duo or reunite as the full powerhouse quartet. 
As for Felicia and Fallon, these ladies are total multitaskers, singing, songwriting, producing, and even diving into reality TV and entrepreneurship. Speaking of reality TV, did you catch them on BET Presents The Encore? Some folks thought they were a tad extra on the show. If you're a creative director and your wow. brain does not necessarily make you a creative director of us. Leave the girl alone. 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 My name's Misha. I just sure. didn't and even their fellow cast members couldn't help but raise an eyebrow or two. Twins, you know, them girls can sing, but being in a girl group is about working together and not just about talent. And right now, those girls think that don't stink. I could see them being the downfall of this group. Drama? Oh, you bet there was drama. Hell has time to read between lines. To our... Between producing, engineering, and writing, I don't have time to read between lines. So if you feel some type of way, come say it. But let's spill the deets. Because even though they rocked it on reality TV, Felicia and Fallon's true passion lies behind the scenes, where they're crafting music that's pure gold. They've been breaking down barriers in a male-dominated industry since 2015, when Felicia linked up with Sony ATV and Fallon joined forces with Universal Music. They're not just talking the talk, they're walking it too, dubbing themselves the Black Mary Kate and Ashley of music. Fallon's got hits like Danny Lay's platinum certified Easy featuring Chris Brown under her belt. Let me catch your fire, let's just while Felicia co-produced Justin Bieber's smash, Peaches. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Oh, yeah, shit. I get my was shot straight to number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Together, they've pinned tracks for hit TV shows like Fox's Empire and Star. Felicia and I always stay grinding, and we recently found success behind the scenes. We're writers. We've worked with Tamar. I have a record coming out with Justin Bieber. It is a really good time right now. I have a double platinum record out right now with Chris Brown called Easy. And let's not forget the magic behind Peaches. You ain't sure yet. But I'm for ya. Felicia's hubby and a musical genius in his own right played a key role in producing the track. When Justin Bieber had the vision, Harv and Felicia made it a reality, and boom, history was made. Here's a little backstory. Harv and Phil crossed paths in an Atlanta studio in 2014. Music is in their DNA, and sparks flew from day one. He had well, he was supposed to work with my sister, my twin sister, Fallon, but somehow she ended up canceling on a session, so I had went in. I'm thinking I'm getting ready to have a session with Fallon, so mm -hmm. her manager walks in like 10 minutes before she does, and like, yo, so I switched the sessions, like, okay, you thought you was gonna work with Fallon, but you're gonna work with her twin sister, Felicia. So 10 minutes later, here comes Felicia, she, she walks in, and immediately I was like, oh man. They eventually got married in 2021 and have teamed up to create amazing hits, including Seven Streeter's chart topper, Before I Do. But before I do. Now, speaking of the other sisters, Farah is now 40, Neosha is 38, and the twins are 36 and worth about one million each. While we may not hear much from Farah and Neo these days, we're confident they're doing amazing things. So while their cherished days might be a bit in the rearview mirror, these ladies are still shaking things up and making headlines behind the scenes. And you can bet there's more where that came from.